This episode was brought to you by Previously on the wigs of Reese. OS that I need to know that she's serious about us. And she suggested that we meet with our kids to tell them what we got planned for the future. Let's see how this go. Who's with band? I am. But they don't know that. And you're not going to bring it up. You know she's still fucking banned? No, nah, we talked about it. It's over. The band don't want to be a part of this. I am so over Wiggy. It's, I almost could slap myself. I really could slap myself for the craziness I was doing. For what? I don't even know. At this point, I really just don't know. I'm not going to say that I'm a fan of band. However, she is a part of this family in a weird ass way. Um, I think what my mother is doing is wrong. In fact, I hope she know what she signed up for because Ben is the type of bitch that will kill you in your motherfucking sleep. Huh. Welcome to the wing of Racy, where nothing is fair and love and hair. This thing is on, it's, it's on, okay, <laughs> hi. Um, some of you may know me and some of you may not. <laughs> Let's recap, shall we? Um, I'm looking for Lulu. Apparently she's like, um, Wiggy's favorite. Hi, I'm Lulu. Um, are you like related to Wiggy? Cause um, nobody calls her Wiggy but us. It's actually funny that you ask because I'm actually her girlfriend. <laughs> Excuse me, say what now? Yes, girlfriend is in the one that she lives with and sleeps with at night. Bro, did you just say band? Oh my God, yeah. Do you like know her? Oh, we know each other very well. The producers let me in, I hope that was okay. OMG. Surprise. Nah, bro. Fuck out of here with that shit. Nah. You know how crazy you look, bro? Of course. <laughs> I always look crazy to you. Like, why would you get a job here? Like, do you even know how that makes you look fucking crazy? And I'm dead ass, son. <laughs> crazy or not, we're coworkers. So you're going to have to get over it. Bro, we're not about to do this. Becky, get Reese on the phone right now, bro. Which camera am I looking? I'm looking at this camera, this camera here. Okay, so I'm talking to this camera. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I am DJ Band. I am a DJ. I play in some of the hottest clubs around town. Yes, and I'm here working with the Wigs of Reese um, shop because I saw an opportunity. And it has nothing to do with the fact that Wiggy works here. So what's your opportunity then? Is this not a reality TV show? Oh, 
I started DJing when I was 16, inspired by my mom. She used to do it, and I thought it was so dope to see a female doing something that they claim only men can do. So that's why I am here, and I plan on being... <laughs> you can't just play with people's hearts like this and think that you can just get away with murder. You better hope I can't. I moved to the South because I got an opportunity that could possibly take my DJ career to the next level. And I'm just more excited because I found out the love of my life is going to stay here now, too. Did you miss me? Of course I did. <sighs> so, what you do this weekend? What I did? I want y'all to know that... We're taking our relationship to the next level. Yes, so we're thinking about moving in together. What the fuck, Amoya? Are you for real right now? What about band? What about band? Nothing important. <laughs> How was your new gig? S, what are you not telling me? And why would you think I'm not telling you something? <laughs> because you're being weird. I'm not being weird. <sighs> okay. Um, are you on drugs? You tried it. <laughs> okay, so Amelia calls me and asks me if we're dating. That nosy little bitch. I gotta ask, are you still seeing Ricky's dad? really doing this right now I said I was done so that means I'm done you know what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go of course I think that's a good idea bro so Ben hit me up asking for some advice and I'm like yes meet me at the spot bro because I got some shit I need to say to your ass I have this weird feeling that S is not telling me something what, bro? That she's still fucking my father? Am I bugging? Bro, they had a whole fucking dinner just to tell us that they moving in together, son. No. Stop lying. Bro, what the fuck do I gotta lie for? Like, son, did she tell you what she did this weekend? <sighs> That's what I thought, bro. Like, stop fucking with her, yo. Better than that shit. What's wrong with me? Everybody cheats on me. <laughs> Bro, listen. The reason why I cheated is because I'm toxic and I like pussy. How about we order some more drinks and get smack, bro? Like old times. Really? Because I could use more drinks. <laughs> Good morning, bro. Good morning. I hope you don't mind that I made coffee. <laughs> as long as you made some for me. Good morning. G Good morning. <laughs> so, I might have had a dream that me and Wiki connected. I mean, I still love you, bro. I love you, too. Thank God it was just a dream. Girl, Wiki told me everything about last night. What? I am so sorry you had to go through that. Although, I really don't know what you expect from an Moya. Bro, chill. Why are you telling me to chill? It's the truth, and everyone knows that. Bro, the point of pillow talk is that it fucking stays on the fucking pillow, bro. It's okay, you know what? I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Sounds like a great idea. Bro, don't listen to her. Word, bro? Chill the fuck out. What? You think I don't know googly eyes when I see it? Yo, she not even thinking about me. Before I go in this bathroom, I just want to say, you always know how to make me feel better. <laughs> I mean, I still love you, bro. I love you, too. 
Bro. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Come on. I'm, I'm too many drinks. <laughs> bro, don't be that girl. Go home. <laughs> Come on, give me your keys, bro. I'm a, I'm a drop. Wiggy, is she gonna be a problem that I have to worry about now? Hell nah, bro. No. I think hanging out with Wiggy was a mistake because now I, all my feelings are back. Hey, what? A, huh? No, 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 no. I got drunk class night and as much as Wiggy can be an asshole she knows how to turn it off when necessary you're still in love with her look I always felt that you and Wiggy would get back together at some point I just think she's caught up in this wig shop fame with the girlfriend star but as soon as she realizes how fake that is she'll come back I want to do something special for Wiggy and our wedding and this might be weird but I called DJ Ben down to the shop to get her advice and her input on what I should do. Just hope I don't regret it. You are bringing this shop together. Well thank you and thank you for meeting me at the shop. With no one here it's been keeping me really busy. I understand this with my DJ gig it is kicking my ass. Well, I'm really happy for you, girl. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so the reason why I asked you here is because I really want to do something special for Wiggy, and you're the only person that I know that really knows her. So what about Deborah? They're like BFFs now. <sighs> this was a bad idea. Bad idea? <laughs> I may be labeled as Wiggy's crazy ex, but I would never ask my significant other's ex how to surprise them unless I'm fishing for something. I mean, I get it. We've all we've all been fools for Wiggy, right? But if you have to ask an ex how to surprise her, then you might want to consider why you're marrying her. <sighs> I'm nervous and I'm scared. Wiggy's mother was right. Lulu is definitely not strong enough to be with Wiggy. <laughs> I know what I have to do. This is stupid. You know what? Can we just like forget this whole moment? It's not stupid. It just means you need to dig a little deeper before you say I do. I'm waiting for you to call. Okay, babe. It will only take me a few minutes. Excuse me while I go break up with a washed up cougar. What in the world? Man, what the f You think that you can just play me like that? I don't know what. Excuse me. This is not the place nor the time. Did I not just kick people out for just barging into my office? So, are you moving in with him? Just gonna ignore me. Wait, what? Band. S. I thought I loved you, but I'm gonna have the last laugh. Just imagine if I did love you. <laughs> bang, bang. Bro, my father just got into a fucking car accident down the block. Oh my god, what happened? I don't know what happened, bro. Well, that's a shame. Relax. Come on. Let, let's just figure it out. He's probably okay. Did you check? When Lulu asked to meet me at the shop, I was in the middle of tracking Wiggy's dad car. And come to find out, he was at S's house the whole night and then ended up at the shop. Sure, Lulu. I'm literally right down the block. So I can meet you at the shop. You see, the way I was taught, you cut deep enough to do get the job done, but not enough to notice right away. So by the time they speed off, it's poof, and 
<laughs> the voices. I'm meeting with Ben today because S swears that Ben has something to do with my husband's accident. I didn't do anything, but he got what he deserved. That is my husband. Yes, who you're in the final stages of your divorce with. Fuck off. You do know that S didn't choose you, right? I know a lot now. Like the reason why you're trying to get rid of Lulu is because it's a repeat of what you did. History is hitting a little too close to home for you. And why would you want a constant reminder of your coulda, shoulda, wouldas? <laughs> I think Wiggy really dodged a bullet here. You know... The bullet I just dodged is now your problem. And this little accident might have bought you a little bit of time because as I recall, S and your soon-to-be ex-husband plan on moving in together. And if you don't believe me, feel free to ask your kids. They had a lovely dinner the other night. <laughs> the thing about the crazy ex is that you should never forget that they're crazy. <laughs> One down. One more to go. <laughs>